tiny little baby. Oh. Well, we had to get on to something a little more serious here. What we need to talk about is carrying a firearm on an airplane. I don't mean on the airplane, I mean in your luggage, in the baggage compartment, not in your carry-on. Uh, I recently did it, I went on a trip. I had a little bit of trouble finding information on what to do, but uh, all the information I got was accurate. <clears throat> First of all, uh, if you take all the information uh, that I got, it can be summarized kind of in a little quick study card. And this is the card they give you when you uh, go to the airport. It says, I understand that the car carriage of a loaded weapon is a violation of federal regulations. I therefore declare the following regarding the firearm contained in my luggage. The firearm's chambers are free of ammunition and the magazine clip has been removed when applicable. Loaded magazines or clips are packaged to prevent accidental activation of the primers. That implies that you can leave the ammunition in the magazines if you have a gun that takes a magazine. The unloaded firearm is inside a hard-sided lock container and I alone am in possession of the key or combination. My total allowance of checked luggage contains no more than 11 pounds of ammunition and it is securely packaged in an appropriate container. Okay, those are the four basic rules. It also says, I also understand that state laws vary regarding registration, possession, and carriage of a weapon. I acknowledge that I am responsible for knowing the following, that the firearm laws of the states and through which I will be traveling. So basically, it says, you got to know the state laws, where you're coming from, where you're going to, and where you're going to be traveling through. Uh, you're responsible for that. All right, so let's get on to this. Basically, you have to have your weapon in a hard-sided case. Uh, most people use plastic cases. I went and got my plastic cases, and they don't have a place for a lock on them. I guess you could put a lock around it, but I don't know if that's legal. Some of the other plastic cases I looked at had like a side lock which seems like somebody could spring the thing open and remove the weapon from inside of it. Um, <clears throat> these are nice cases, and I'm sure that there are many I made that are approved, just mine weren't approved for the TSA. So, uh, I tried to look for a case. I actually wanted an aluminum case, but the aluminum boxes were really big and bulky, so I didn't know what to do. Uh, I went out and I found another case, and it's called a Nano Vault 200. Uh, I don't recommend this, it just happens to be the one that I found, and there's a picture of it. And it also had something that I like that says, meets TSA Airlines Firearm Guidelines, because I didn't want any problems. Uh, it's the one I picked, I'm not recommending it again, but uh, www.gunvaults.com. That's where it comes from. I actually bought it in the store here locally, uh, about 40 bucks. So here it is right here. Okay, this is the Nano Case 200. Um, they make a smaller one. I was going to carry a little Caltech with me, which doesn't take a very big one. But uh, this one here wasn't very much bigger than the smaller one. So this is the Nano Vault 200, which is bigger. And of course, this one here is just big enough to take a 45, as you can see. If I was going to carry a 45 in here, I would put some tape or a little buffers around the edge to make sure that we don't get any metal to metal action going there. Uh, you don't know how bad it can be vibrated, but I would stuff something around the edge if I was going to carry a full size 45. But uh, that's not what I carried. What I actually carried was a little Caltech. Okay. Now, Remember on this card here, it says about uh, loaded weapons is a violation of federal regulations. So what you have to make sure is 
your weapon, make sure that it is empty. Have your friend check it, have your wife check it, hold it up, look through the light, look down the barrel. Make sure that this sucker is absolutely empty. Uh, if you had a round in it, you know, I just don't know how they would act if you accidentally had a bullet in it. So, uh, for, you know, your information, make sure the weapon is empty. I actually put the little holster right in here for a little added protection. Now, I did something that most people don't do. I took the bullets out of the magazine because I thought some little pencil dick somewhere is going to say, this is part of the gun or something like that. So anyway, I took the bullets out. Uh, I have a little holder uh, for the bullets. Primer down up against the plastic so nobody can argue with that. And that went right in here. And this thing here are locked. And the foam in it's pretty good. You have to press down pretty good to get it to hold. And I don't know what that is. I guess that's the magazine in there rattling around a little bit. But the gun itself, I can tell you right now, the gun itself is very secure in here. So, this is what I did. Now, when you go to the airport, uh, there's a couple other things that happen. This is how you lock your gun. Get your gun locked in something like this. I'm not saying that this is the absolute way to do it, but this is what I did. Get your gun like this, and then put this inside your suitcase. Okay, when you actually got to the airport, uh, don't go to the gate, of course. Go to the ticket counter outside of security. If they got uh, people that check your baggage at the curb, don't use them. Go to the normal ticketing counter. When I went to the ticketing counter, uh, don't walk up and say, oh, I got a gun! No. Tell them you would like to declare that you have a firearm inside of your suitcase that is properly stored with the ammunition removed. And they will, act, and they will ask you, is the ammunition removed? And you say, yeah, the ammunition is removed and properly stored. And the magazine is removed and it's in a locked container. Uh, this container, like I said, said TSA approved on it. Not that other ones aren't. I'm sure they are. Uh, they had me fill out information on the card right here, which I filled out, and um, this is also the card that's got all these rules on the back. So they took that and they said, well, we can open up the gun case itself and put it inside or we can tape it outside. I said, well, let's just tape it outside. So they taped it outside like that. After they taped it on, um, of course, then I close my suitcase and put the lock back on the suitcase. This box has to be locked in the suitcase. Do not use a master lock on your suitcase. Go and get a TSA approved lock, not a master lock. Of course, master lock may make them too, but make sure that it says TSA approved. That means TSA has a special key that goes in here. On the bottom it says TSA and has a number. Oh, this is 07, a James Bond. So TSA knows it's TSA lock 07 key, whatever, whatever that means. But anyway, you, you lock the suitcase right there in front of them. Then, I thought that was it, I, and they said, well, we have to wait for TSA. Well, I thought TSA was going to come over and sign, but no, TSA came over and very nicely removed my bag and told me to come with them. It took me to a little TSA screening area where they, I believe they first uh, x-rayed my bag, probably looking to make sure I didn't have anything else in there. And then they opened my bag. I said, would you like the key? They said, no, no, we have a key. And they used their key to open the bag. And uh, they looked inside. They located the box with the tag on it to make sure it was filled out correctly. Uh, by the way, I have the information on the back of the box, too a magic marker, so if this would have got lost, I would have got it back, hopefully. Just so i throw that in. But uh, they swabbed my suitcase looking for explosives. I guess they have uh, some kind of device that can determine gunpowder from C4 or something. I guess maybe 
people that legally carry guns on airplanes are more likely to carry high explosives. I don't know. I don't know what the reason is. Uh, after they got done doing that, they locked my suitcase. All this was kind of done in front of me. And uh, the TSA agent walked my suitcase with me over and we put on the conveyor belt and it disappeared. The suitcase ended up in Cleveland and uh, it just went into normal uh, luggage on the carousel. Uh, when you get your suitcase, don't open it up there in the airport and assemble your gun. Don't do anything stupid. You know, leave the airport, handle it, you know, at another point, you know, use a little discretion here. Because uh, they get real nervous around airports when people play with guns. So, like I said, this should already be locked up and in your suitcase when uh, you go to the airport. Don't be putting it in at the airport. Already have it in here. Okay, when we came back uh, from Cleveland, they had TSA uh, right there at the gate, and TSA uh, took my suitcase, and they also asked, is this lady traveling with you, my wife? I said, well, yeah. Well, they grabbed her suitcase, too, and uh, they swabbed hers for explosives, too. They opened hers up. Uh, they also x-rayed hers. So this should be a little warning to you if you're the type of person who carries a gun and you're real careful about packaging and stuff. Also make sure that whoever you're traveling with or your wife or whatever, uh, make sure that they're aware what they can take in their suitcase because chances are they're going to look at their suitcase really, really good. I'm not talking carry-on. I'm talking the stuff that goes in the cargo hold. It's going to be scrutinized also if they're with you. But that's okay. Uh, a lot of people may whine and stuff, oh, TSA did this, TSA did this. This whole process went very smoothly, uh, less than five minutes probably at each end. Uh, the TSA agents were very polite. They act like they were really there to try and help you. Uh, we had no problem whatsoever. Uh, my wife even said, oh, that was pretty easy. Uh, my wife, when we got to screening, they did pat her down now. But I don't think it had to do with uh, carrying a firearm. Uh, just randomly, it looked like they were taking people and patting them down. Uh, if you're going to pat somebody down, you probably would pick someone else, you know what I mean? But uh, we didn't have any problem. It was very uneventful. You shouldn't be uh, afraid to carry a firearm. If you're, if you're licensed to carry a firearm, I am licensed to carry a firearm. I'm licensed to carry a firearm in Ohio, too. So I had no problem uh, whatsoever at either end. Uh, there's that little disclaimer on this card here that says, uh, you understand kind of the laws in the other states you're going to be going to? Well, here in Arizona, we can carry a firearm into a bar. Now, I wouldn't necessarily carry a firearm into a bar personally, but uh, a lot of restaurants serve alcohol. and. Uh, if I was going to go in there and eat, I would carry my firearm in there. Not for any special purpose, but just because I have it on me. I can't do that in Ohio. Uh, if you go to the internet, there's a lot of good resources for different laws in different states. And you can get the current laws in the state you're going to to make sure that you understand those. They may vary from the state you're in. But anyway, uh, it looks like they've actually made it, you know, easy to carry a firearm. Uh, it was uneventful. Don't be afraid of it. Proper package of the firearm. There is no reason to uh, take the bullets out of the magazine as I understand it. Everybody else I talked to leaves them in the magazine. So maybe if you had bullets in the magazine, maybe uh, a little uh, plastic clip like I had to hold the bullets if you want to carry extras. I don't know why you'd want to carry extras, but if you were inclined to, uh, that might be a good way to carry them. But uh, this is just the way I chose to do it. I, stole, I chose a steel box because it said a hard-sided box. Uh, everything I have is TSA approved. But remember, the lock on your suitcase has got to be a TSA lock. If you put a master lock on, when they take it over to TSA, if they can open it, I mean, if you get a master lock that's not TSA approved, if they can open it, they're going to snip it off. Now you got a suitcase with no lock. It can't fly with the firearm in it. So make sure TSA box, 
uh, or one that's TSA approved or one that will be acceptable to them, a lockable uh, box for the gun, and uh, make sure the suitcase has got a TSA lock on it and you won't have any problems. We, we encountered actually no problems. It was just a fine experience. In fact, I actually believe that maybe our suitcases were watched a little closer so they won't get lost. Uh, you always hear people getting their suitcases lost. We haven't heard of anybody with a gun in their suitcase getting lost yet, so it might be an added uh, benefit is uh, if you have a gun in there, they're gonna watch it a little oh, better. Man. I just wanna let you know that this is for information only and you should check for changes in the rules or any rules that I don't know about. I'm just trying to help you so you don't get all excited trying to travel with the firearm. So uh, I take no responsibility for any wrong information I'm giving you. I don't believe I'm giving you any wrong information at all, but I don't take any responsibility for it or any changes in rules or anything. Uh, the other thing I wanted to throw in was uh, let's say you were going from Phoenix to Cleveland and there was some kind of weather condition or something, something happened and uh, an emergency let's say and you had to go to LaGuardia in New York and uh, there was no flight out for two days. Well, all of a sudden you're with a firearm in New York. So be aware of things like this can happen. Uh, all you can do is uh, do your best to handle the situation. Uh, seek help at the airport, TSA, or I don't know, the police maybe. I don't know, the police station there. Maybe they can refer you to a lockbox. You can lock at the airport or have them hold your bag at the airport. I don't know. But uh, st stuff like that can happen. So be aware of that. Okay. Now back to my babies. Yes. <laughs>